In this uh, little uh, video segment here for introduction to Jupyter, we will look at how we can change the color of text and how we can change the font. And these are other ways we can highlight or emphasize some text in a document. So I have a new clean sheet here and I'm going to go into a markdown. I'm going to give it a title and that's what should we call it. Um, text and font in markdown cell. Okay. And maybe I want to give it a little break here. Separate the uh, title. Just give probably some structure to it. And do a markdown and say this video slash document is to show how to write text in color uh, and change font. It's gonna be font of fonts. Change font. Let's just leave it there. Okay. And maybe I will put in another little break. Hmm, maybe not. Here we go. Okay. So let's start with the uh, the color. Give it a subsection here. Text color. So this is where um, some of the um, what do you call it specifics of how you can actually modify text in uh, Jupyter. It pretty much follow uh, HTML script. So if any of you are familiar with writing uh, web pages or something like that, you'll find a lot of the commands, a way you're uh, structuring a website in terms of text and so forth, all the uh, commands you're using can actually be applied in Jupyter as well. So a way to uh, change text in line, for example, is to use a command called span. So maybe I will give a, an example. It will say, uh, example of text color. And this is just a part of a, of a sentence, right? Uh, and then I'm going to now specify another text. I'm going to write some more text, but I'm going to write that in a different color. So now we need to have a command that will change that. that one example to do that is using span. Um, do I have that one? No, I don't. I need that. Okay, so span, and then the command is style equals a quotation. We're going to do color and colon. Let's give it a red one. Okay. So what we have done here is we're using command span and span says what comes after this span here is gonna have some attributes and the attributes is what we put in style. Uh, so the attribute that I'm gonna have in the text here is a color. I'm gonna change the color, I'm gonna set a color to it. I'm gonna set that to be red. So this is red text. And then I'm gonna say, okay, I'm, I'm done anything else past that, it's not going to be read anymore. So now I'm going to stop that command. It's no longer going to span it. And then I can write again, maybe a punctuation. Let's see how it looks like when I execute a shift enter. And it tells us this red text. Okay, let's go back up and open up that cell. I can do a copy paste here. Let's put a new line and say, well, too much here. Let's call it blue. Now, of course, I'm going to should change this here to blue. Um, let's do some more. Green. Um, there are many different kinds. If you want to find how many different kind of colors there are, you can go in and Google, for example, and say text color in HTML and get a bunch of like options of different colors. So, there's some really obscure colors in there, but a lot of different colors, whatever you pretty much can desire. Okay, let's uh, do Shift Enter. See how it all looks like. Oh, these were red. I should change this here to green and pink. Let's see how it looks like. 
Okay, so now you see it. these are four different colors we used there. And again, when we first have seen an example of that code or syntax that we use for it, often what I do is I just use copy paste and rarely type it again. Or maybe get into a habit where you say, you know, I can remember this here, but typically in the beginning, we don't tend to remember it very well, so we have to maybe look it up. So documents like this, it can be handy to have uh, have available to take a quick look and see how we actually do this here. So make a little divider, and then we do a markdown where we say font. Let's call that a subsection. Change font. Okay. So we ha we did like a say example of. What should we do? Uh, Vedana is a type of font, Xam Vedana. And then I'm gonna now, again, I'm gonna take whatever comes after this, what I just wrote, I want to change that. I want to change the attribute of it. And the way we did that was to use the uh, span command. Span um, style equals quotation now it's font family so before we had um, color now it's font family okay um, this case is Vedana so let's try that and see if that works and then I'm gonna put my uh, greater than symbol there so what we have here we're saying in what we're going to span here, we're going to change the attribute to Vedana font. So, example of, and then we're going to write what we want, Vedana font. And then, see, whatever comes after that, we're going to stop the attribute, and then do a punctuation. We also continue text, whatever text will be passed here, will not be in Vedana, but will be the uh, default text for Jupyter. Let's see how that looks like. Now you can see that the font has changed. Again, we can uh, do copy-paste if you want to try some other fonts. Um, one that's very often used is Times New Roman. So you can go in here, font family. Guess what we're going to write here? Times New Roman. Try shift enter and now we got times new roman font so it's really uh, similar to it. the same thing if you want to change uh, it is really changing attributes whether it's color font font size uh, etc if you're more curious what what else you can uh, change I, I suggest you look up some uh, google html change attributes of text for example and see what kind of different options there are but in a, I think beyond of changing font, or changing text color, uh, emphasizing it through bold italic fonts, I don't really uh, imagine uh, anything else you would need beyond that other than what is just for fun or curiosity on your behalf. So this is uh, the changing of color and font. Um, and we will go on to learning some more ways of uh, inputting text into uh, the markdown cells in Jupyter.